Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to install a digital forensic software called Autopsy. You will need Windows 10 64-bit operating system as well as the Autopsy download. After we install the Autopsy download, we'll then set up configurations for the software, including optimization, performance, and multi-user. Let's get started. Open File Explorer, right click on the download and click install. You'll see that the setup wizard appears. Click next. Here you're being asked where you'd like to install the software. You can either customize it by selecting your own path or use the path given. We're going to use the path given. Click next. Here you can either go back and do the custom installation or click install. Go ahead and click install. We see a status bar come up and we are getting a user account control pop-up box asking us if we'd like to make changes to the device. The changes that we're making are installing the software. Once the installation is finished, you can see in the left hand side that an icon has been placed there. Go ahead and click finish. Close File Explorer and let's double click on the autopsy icon. Once autopsy opens, you will see a pop-up asking you to start a case. Let's close this and go look at the configurations. We'll come back to this in a minute. Let's go to Tools and let's go to Options. Here you'll see all of your application tools. You'll first see the runtime and any of the memory adjustments that you'd like to make, any of the root directories that you'd like to make changes to. You could also add a logo. Next, let's look at performance optimization. We can click on the ingest icon and then click on settings. Here, we can change the threads for the file ingest from two to four. If we change it, we will need to close and reopen the software package. Let's click on the multi-user icon and here you can enable multi-user cases, set up the database server settings, also set up any kind of message server settings that you'd like to set. We can go ahead and click cancel. Let's go back to our case up at the top on the menu ribbon and let's select new case. Here, we're prompted for a case name as well as a base directory. I'll just enter test. We'll go ahead, select next. We're being prompted then for a case number and you'll be prompted to fill in your examiner information as well. Click finish. Here, we can set up our host we're just going to generate a new host, click next. We'll select our disk image. You could do local disk, logical files. Here we're, we're showing where the path is that our image is located. Then we'll select next. Here you can configure your ingest. You can select or deselect all of the captures that you'd like to take. Go ahead and click next. And this next step might take quite a bit of time. You'll see on the left hand side, a file structure that will be added once this goes through the process. Once it does, go ahead and click finish. By clicking finish, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner that it's analyzing all of the files that you selected in the ingest for this disk image. Once it's finished, you can start analyzing your disk image. Thanks for watching. All the links are in the description below.